Hi, today I am going to explain you how to configure Nginx on a Docker. Let's first see the version of the Docker. We'll see whether we have any Docker containers are already running or not. Currently there is no containers running. No applications are running on port 80 as well. Create one HTML file with some sample data to deploy to the Nginx server. Now you can execute the docker command to create the nginx server that will download the nginx image from the docker hub, in my case I have already download executed the command, so the image is already present in my system. You can can see the images by executing docker images command. Now I am going to execute the final command that will create the nginx docker and you can start uasing it. Let me explain the command, docker run will run the container, if the docker image is not present in the system, it will download. Next is the name of the container that we are going to create. By default, nginx server will start on port 80 inside the docker, we have to provide the local system port number after the colon. Minus D for detach, that means run container in background and print container ID. Minus V for volume, using that we can bind mount a volume. In our case the HTML file or files folder. And the final nginx is the image name. Use the command docker images to see the images created. You can see the id, image created from, created container name, port exposed on the local system or server and the status. Now you can check whether the Nginx is working or not from the browser. There you go, your HTML is deployed on Nginx server. Now we'll see how we can update the HTML, we will update the local file and can see that it's changing on the server. Now I will explain you how to log into your docker and see the files or if you want to do any changes on the docker. On next video I will explain you how to create a configuration file on Nginx server. How to forward the request to a Tomcat server that is running on a different docker. So please subscribe and click bell icon to get updates when new content is added, bye.